the hat trick of Goljim Ganesh Guri, and please uh, shortly your introduction. Um, thank you, um, and thank you very much for having us. It's uh, it's always a pleasure to be welcomed like we have been at the gym. Uh, my name is Nick Pothis. I'm the assistant coach for Bangladesh national team. Okay. So, how is the experience at Goljim Ganesh Guri? Uh, amazing. Uh, exactly what we need. A lot of space. Very difficult to always training in hotel gyms because you don't have access to everything you need, especially as a professional sportsman. So to have everything available here in your amazing facility has been um, a pleasure for us um, because it is a long World Cup and um, it is vitally important that um, we stay on top of the fitness, especially on um, days off. Thank you so much sir. Uh, visit us at Gold Gym Ganesh Guri. So this is our pleasure to serve you. And I, I, I have few questions. So you uh, usually uh, teach or coach your uh, cricket players. So what is the best strategy to uh, train them? The best strategy is that everybody is different. Um, so, you know, everyone's physiology, um, everyone's robustness, what their bodies can handle, um, their age, injury histories, all these things come into play. Um, and then normally when we look at a tournament, we will always look at a tournament or a series in reverse because you want to be at your strongest at the back end of the tournament with your best team available. So um, everybody has their own personal program um, and it's all based on their workloads from the past and what they have coming up. Right. Very true. So uh, and uh, about injury prevention, what you uh, suggest to your players? Look, I think you can do too little, you can do too much. So both of those are not a great place to be. Um, I think where you want that sweet spot is in consistency. Just a little bit often, rather than spiking workloads where you do nothing for a long time, then all of a sudden you try and cram a lot of work into a short period of time. That's where you're gonna have the problem. Um, once you see consistency over a long period of time, the body gets used to that stress and you do naturally become a bit more robust. So we are seeing that you have a very good physique. So how you maintain your fitness uh, during this uh, coaching and everything? Um, I'm fortunate that I enjoy my fitness. I am a competitive CrossFitter. Okay. So I compete at the same time. So for me, it is in my um, best interest, A, to be able to service the players for a long period of time. I'm very old now, so I'm turning 50. Um, You're 50? I'm turning 50. Wow, it's not On like the 18th of November, thank you. Wow. So. Um, no, it's again, it's consistency, but it's the other things that are important. The sleep, the hydration, the nutrition, um, how you make up your nutrition. Um, you know, your, everybody's body is different. I now over time have worked out what my body needs. Um, and on my rest days, I am very good at taking my rest, doing my mobility, um, etc. But you can't just think that if you come to the gym, that is enough. It's True. all the other things that go, that, that go into it. Yes. So uh, what will be the best suggestion to our cricketers in Assam, those who are playing for cricket and other sports about diet and discipline, about uh, physical activity and all, whatever. Yeah. So first and foremost, cricket is a skill-based sport. So your skill is the number one thing. Then it's how you fit in your strength and conditioning around that skill, depending if you're a bowler, a batter, a wicket keeper, a spin bowler, everybody is different in that way and their bodies are made up differently. So, you know, if there's a young guy, he's obviously trying to get stronger, his body hasn't developed. If you've got an older guy, he's probably doing a little bit less to try and maintain. So it, it very much depends on the person, but you have to, if you're training a player, you have to know whether it's his cricket skill or whether it's his, phys uh, his physical stuff, you have to know his history because you can't just make up one program and hand it out to everybody. But again, the, the message is be consistent and keep learning. Yes. So, sir, thank you so much for your valuable time with us. And uh, yeah, best of luck for your journey and for cricket, World Cup cricket. Thank so, you very much. Yeah, any uh, specific suggestion you want to give us at Gold Gym Ganesh Guri? No, not at all. I think, um, you know, now the way the world is and the amount of toxins that exist in the world, yes. I think, um, you know, for everyone's personal health, it is very important that people do look after their health. Um, and with this facility, everything's about environment and you guys have a great environment. So it's always enjoyable coming here. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank nice you. Nice to I meet you. I appreciate it. Great to meet you too. Thank, Thank you, you so much.